So welcome to JPAD Tuning in 45 <laughs> seconds. Can you introduce yourself? Let us know who you are and where you're from and what you do. So I'm Pamela Davis. I am the owner of Cosmic Flames in Wishaw, just outside Glasgow. Um, I It's a cheer gym, but we've only had the gym a couple of years. We've been going for about 18 years, but we've not... We've only competed for about seven of those because they did compete and then they didn't and then they're back to competing. Um, I also judge for a few EPs and the EPs I don't judge for a staff for. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. I'm just Pammy and it's all about cheer. <laughs> <laughs> cheer is my life. <laughs> so like 18 years, uh-huh. you've been, I'm guessing it was recreational before you started going to comp. Yeah, it was, it was kind of like we got asked, it was new in the area mm. like the, it was there was a lot of dance schools but nobody had ever really had cheerleaders and it was very like obviously when I started cheerleading there was no levels there was no there was no time it was peewee and way back it was a long time ago so it, when I kind of started doing cheerleading around here it was so new everybody wanted them at gala days they wanted them at openings they wanted them to do a lot of stuff in the community so because it was the pop we had poems back then as well mm. we don't do them now but it was like they were there and it was all and they're quite a bubbly group and so they were quite happy doing that we done two competitions and they were like oh we're not really fast so then we went back to doing all of that and then I thought I'll try it again and we done like tiny's minis and then like two years later we were doubling every year like yeah everybody just wanted more and more and more so it was like two two teams then four teams then it was like right up to like 16 teams <laughs> so it's crazy <laughs> and you haven't turned back no I, know, I just it, went more and more. Yeah, because I, I know, like, seeing you at comp, you guys come in force. Um, oh. <laughs> like, there's, there's cosmic There's a pink and black everywhere. army. <laughs> there's, like, pink everywhere. Yeah. And they're very noisy. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, so, so, yeah, obviously, you were doing all the galas and that. Has, yeah. Was it strange, or is it strange, like, to have, if you thought back to it, what it was like then, when you uh-huh. started, to what it is now? Yeah. Is it strange or is it like a, a wicked feeling to see how it has evolved? It, it is. Like, I, I honestly can't believe it because it was always the dream to have a gym. It was always the dream to have, like, numerous coaches, to have so many competition girls. I mean, we, we competed in Barcelona mm. uh, two seasons ago. Obviously, last season, we don't talk about that because COVID, we did a season last year or this year. So it was like, we went to Barcelona. And even when I was in Barcelona, I was like, no way, like... You only you see other teams going and you're like, oh my god, that's amazing. Imagine doing that. And then you're yeah. like, oh my god, you're on the flight, you're like, oh my god. It's not obviously not worlds or anything, but to us, that's like it's three teams from Wishaw, the, the kids like and they went out and they've done well, do you know? So it's it's great. It's it's not worlds, but it is still it's yeah, it's great, isn't it? Like obviously worlds, it'll be a great achievement to go there as a uh-huh. team and all that, but the sport is actually taking you different places isn't it it's yes, not, uh-huh, you're not just uh-huh. confined to so is it wish or yeah wish or well we were motherwell for like oh, okay yeah 15 years and then uh-huh. we got the chance of the gym and it was just like it was like four minutes away <laughs> so yeah. we were like yeah go for it although you would think it was like 40 minutes away the way some people were like no that's too far <laughs> so but it was like yeah so it is, it's like we kids from wish who are just like awake of, like living and they are just they just love it they like yeah. honestly love it and it's I've never seen that in my whole life like any other kind of like professions or school or college I've never seen bonds which these girls have like I've never seen that anywhere else like the girls like they hang about together outside they're, they're on social media all the time they're it's just it is like a family isn't it it's like uh, your second family it's and... definitely I mean our, our mums say that an awful lot during lockdown like our second family and all that we, we yeah. used to see it quite a lot as well like Oh, a cosmic family. Well, you bit. do, don't you? Especially as like competition teams, because you are together a hell of a lot of the time, aren't you? Yeah. And it isn't yeah. like, well, obviously you train every week and all that, but like yeah. football, and it'll be yeah, we'll we'll train for an hour and then we'll go and play footy yeah. for an hour. Uh-huh. But this is like your train. It could God knows how many times a week. Yeah. And then you're spending weekends together, so you are. Yeah, it is weekends. practically your family, uh-huh. isn't it? And. and- they start training for their competitions in August and we don't mm. really start till February, March. So, and it's it's not a case of like, they're not 
training for something individually they're all training for the same goal together so it's yeah. and they're so support like I never ever thought I would say this for like a group of girls because we, we did have we, we've had some boys in the past but for girls to be like so supportive of each other it's yeah. crazy because you, you you do think well I'm not really what especially in today's like, age uh-huh. yeah yeah you think oh they're going to all be like like hating each other not but they're not and they're so I think we don't we don't tolerate anything like that and there's, mm. there's none of that they're all they're all the same they're all here for the same goals and it's very much like they all support each other so much and um it's as it like kind of I think they come in knowing that we don't stand for it so mm. it's just never ever even attempted and excuse me sorry That's all right, and if they even do attempt it it's shut down straight away like if we see anything on instagram and because sometimes you get kids that are a bit silly that that do things on instagram and you forget you're following us and we follow you so who do you think does our accounts we can see what you're doing so we, we just kind of say like if if you if they know you're a cause of it you need to be a bit more yeah because like, you, you are you aren't just off. showing yourself off are you you are yeah. representing the yeah. gym and everyone else uh-huh. that stands for it and yeah especially like if you Coach. Sorry, there was just a massive bang on the wall then. I don't know why. Oh, that was. Are, you, are you in yourself? It's like, a ghost. It's, yeah, it's a massive building as well. It's like, ugh. oh, no. No. <laughs> no. no, but it is like you were saying how you, they are like a family. And yeah. um, it has, especially during this time, like we don't talk uh-huh. about last year, but yeah. it is. it has been great how that family, not only in yourself, but across the whole industry, yeah has pulled oh, together yeah. really hasn't it and oh it's been the support honestly, that's been uh-huh. there has been amazing it's been unreal unreal because it has been like yeah you know, it's been awful hasn't it for everyone and yeah oh horrible so. horrible and it's like we've got like our the, the coaches at cosmic are just like through lockdown they've just went for it and it's like keeping the kids motivated they're just I could honestly, like, I'm pure, I'm quite a soppy bum and I'm like, I burst with pride because they're just so passionate about Cosmic and, oh no, is that the ghost? Did you hear it? Oh, I did hear it. <laughs> we need to give the ghost a name. Barbara. <laughs> Barbara, shush, we're in the middle of an interview. <laughs> Babs, calm down. <laughs> Babs, come on, Babs. Babs, behave yourself. <laughs> Love it. But yeah, it was. Um, yeah, sorry. Your coaches have been amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm quite blessed. I've got a lot of really good girls and they, they started as cheerleaders and they are like a joke that I'm more of the admin, really. I just kind of do the day to day, keeping it all ticking over and all the kind of, I deal with like the rec classes and the, the babies, like the tiny, like the prep, tiny preps, the new beginners, mm. comp- the competitions. When did you see them? You just try to hurt them at competitions like because they're all off in different directions and the girls are they're so passionate about it and the, the choreography and stuff is just I just get I just I actually burst with pride with them because they are just so focused on it so we've got like four main coaches four junior coaches and four what we call future leaders mm. so they're like kind of learning and they come and help the junior coaches and it's like so it's like a pro- progression up to a coach but all of them have been with Cosmic for numerous years so they have like the same passion for it as what I do and that's why when I'm that's, talking I about suppose the gym, that's where the pride comes from though isn't it because yeah. like yeah. obviously if you if they have been with you for so long uh-huh you've watched them grow into what they yeah. are today and yeah I suppose I, I do get like when they all got jobs and when they all got like past uni and mm. I'm like poor <laughs> Like, oh my goodness yeah. and it's like I always kid on like oh I'm, I'm like your I'm like your big sister but it's like they're like that's just like a maw <laughs> she just fusses <laughs> over us and then it's like I am like I'm like I do get very like I look after them like they, they slag me they're obviously back making hot chocolates and like they all got an easter egg and it's like it's just like a, a great wee group and it's like so we've got like the four main coaches they, they've all they've all got teams like so they all do like choreography and they are so like invested in it and they know the rules they know everything inside out and their choreography sometimes I watch it and think oh my god like so they just get like a I don't mean oh no he's talking now Barbara sorry oh no so it's like they get like not not a pre 
free run. I don't mean, like, well, they do. Like, they, it's their teams and that's their teams, their choreography. They make the changes. They, whatever they want for that team, that's what they want. So it's like, and it's like, they just, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like a lot of other coaches say, like your relationship with the, because they, we are all so close. Mm. And it's like, there's nothing, I mean, don't get wrong, we'll tell each other if we've got a problem or we'll nap at each other. And it's like, it is like having sisters, but it's very much like, I don't ever need to worry. And I always yeah. think if anything, like, like I had COVID and I didn't need to bother because they were like, right, this is when Zoom's on, whatever. The only thing I had to do is schedule the Zoom codes. <laughs> so it's like, everything's always, and even sometimes I find myself when we're having like coach meetings sitting there going, yes, okay, yep, we'll, I'll do that, yes. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's very, they are just so, I mean, we've got like Lucy, Gemma, Emily and Carol, and we call it Emily Emzo. And so that they're our main coaches. And then we've got like Chantel, Becca, Hannah and Laurie, they're like the juniors. And then we've got four future leaders who are just like kind of 14, 15, 16, really, really want to be coaches. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So they like really want to be coaches, but I don't think they really understand all the sides of coaching. That it's not all just standing at the front and all the good stuff, getting to go to the front of competitions. All that they, so they get to see. We 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 talk them through everything that they need to know for co- like for being coaches, and we're kind of going to start being a bit more thorough because we've realised that for junior coaches, like they do need to. To, so we're going to give them, like, mentor them a wee bit more and be very one-to-one with them, make sure that if they've got an issue or they don't feel that they're learning, we can help them. Hmm. So it's good, but it's like, that's why I always say we, because I just feel like it is, even, it's, it's my job on paper, but it's ours. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's like, it's the four girls are just, like, we're like, as cheesy as this sounds, we're like all a cog in one machine. Like, if I wasn't there. Uh, it's, it's true though, isn't it? Yeah. If you know, I wasn't there, you know it won't fall get, apart. You know, uh-huh. like if they, nobody would know that they owed money <laughs> that's all I do hi yeah. can you pay us please and yeah. it's like and then if like one of them was there's no choreography or like, even extra practices or like my team needs an extra practice uh, can I do it Sunday and I'm like like they, I don't even need to say like it's just I, I, don't, I can't even explain it because it's just they're just like I'm very grateful for them because I, I do post on Facebook and I'm like oh here she goes we're a bible oh no don't Did you, it's really loud isn't it See if you get stolen, will I be like a witness? Will the police have to come and talk to me? You know that, like, did you see that Zoom call with the parish council? Like they went by. It'd be like that. <laughs> you'll be removed, Charles. <laughs> you don't have the authority to remove Charles. Yeah, but you'll be ringing like nine nine nine, going, um, "Barbara has taken Charles," and they'll be like, "Who the bloody hell's Barbara?" Barbara has taken Charles. I don't know where Charles lives. He, he works for this company, and he's got a missus that like. I'm on Zoom to him now, and he's not there. <laughs> and he went that way. I don't know if that's that way in Zoom or if it's that way in real life. <laughs> but uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, so they are like I, I do big posts and all that, and they're like, "Oh, here she goes." But mm. it's like I do say like what we have now for Cosmic was always what my dream was and I wouldn't have got there without them so and like things like every year like I set things like we challenges in my head like goals and I never ever talk about them I never even tell the girls they'll probably slag me for this when they see this but it's like I do like and I remember when my goal was for one of the teams to get first that's all I wanted was a first place Mm. and I was like I just want a first place this season and then we got a first place and then the next year it was like I would really like a grand champion (laughs) <laughs> so it was like that and then I remember like every year and then it was like I'd really like a gym <laughs> and then it was like that year I was like so it's like kind of, all, all kind of almost like manifesting you know yeah, like, like vision boards and stuff it is like it's not it's like everyday life though isn't it if you set yourself goals and you work hard yeah. enough for it then you uh-huh. eventually you will achieve it yeah you've just I mean, got to put in the hard work behind it and yeah well our gym was like a coincidental find like it was an accident mm. like someone said to me do you know whether you're I had actually been there for an event, like a boxing event. Mm. And I'd said to my friend, this is exactly what we would need for a cheer gym. Like, where would I find somewhere like this? And then my friend said to me, like, years later, because I've actually got a photo of Cosmic. Like, they've done a, like, a performance at a boxing event. I've got Perfect. photos of them in the ring and all that, which is now our gym. And I've That's got photos of, like, the coaches and stuff who weren't coaches yet, really. And uh, to get one of them's a future leader now, she was only a wee tiny baby flyer. And it's like, 
I look back at them and I think, oh God, if only you knew, like that would now, well, the place is now completely pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's not like. Net boxing in sight. No, nope, it's all pink now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's wicked. But like going back to obviously your future leaders, your junior coaches, uh-huh. and then your coaches, obviously you've watched them grow up and develop into who they yeah. are today. Uh-huh. But overall, like, because I suppose the sport as a whole is very like it is stereotyped isn't it and yeah people don't actually see it as a sport no no unless unless they're in it yeah but it's like as a sport do you think like it's it's great that it isn't just it's not just people's hobbies they're actually developing from Uh athletes into future leaders junior coaches then coaches and well, they get, we teach them life skills. Like, yeah, and it's, it's not like, just a hobby. Uh, even kids who are not want to be future leaders who want to be in a competition team, mm. it's like, if you're late, you get held accountable. Like, and we're not overly strict, but we just say, like, if you don't come to class, like, a stunt group's four, five, four, five, three or four other people can't train because you're not here. So mm. you have to make the effort to be at class. Like I think on our info pack, it says things like contagious, someone dying and something else. That's all that you can be offer. And it's only three times in the season, which isn't really a lot because we only, our comp teams only train an hour and a half. And then they've got a tumble class on a Saturday. So it's very much like out of that, the whole week, that hour and a half, you can like. Barbara hasn't taken me, I promise. And I was like, oh my God, Barbara's turned the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, it's like, we do like, um, well, like we don't accept she's got a lot of homework because she, they should manage their time better to do the homework, if that mm. makes sense. And, it's, and it makes me sound like the big bad wolf, but it's not. I'm teaching them like... They, it is they, like if you were they, late for work, uh-huh. you'd be in trouble. Yeah. If, you, if you're late for school, you'd be in trouble, uh-huh. wouldn't you? So it is like life yeah. skills and... I, I am coming like, back, I promise. I know, it's all right. <laughs> it's things like um, they have to know that their their behaviour, like we we've got, we do a big thing, like don't don't punish them by grounding them and making them, like taking keeping them off chair for grounding them, like if they've been bad, um, yeah. because that then impacts their teammates. So it's not fair on their teammates. They've not done anything, so please don't keep them off as a punishment. So it's, it's very much like, again like making them accountable for their teammates and they know that they have to put the work in and it's like conditioning and stuff if they're not working hard enough we tell them yeah like you get in what you you, what you get out what you put in sorry so it's it's life skills really but we don't kind of ram it down there but oh no yeah it's still got to be fun and yeah yeah. it's everyone like they want to do it because they're fun and they keep coming back because it's fun and yeah but it is important to have that discipline uh-huh. in there. especially like nowadays I was talking about this earlier with um one of the guys like there's so much influence through uh-huh. like social media now that the attitudes of like kids growing up today is completely different to how it was oh, yeah. when we were growing uh-huh. up and yeah. like so they still you still do need that discipline because like if they wasn't to continue the journey of like junior coach up to coach uh-huh. and all that and they were to go into a, a workplace yeah have a, an attitude that stinks it's not gonna no not gonna bode well and they're not gonna last very long so exactly exactly I think it, like it is great as a sport that it is it's fun it is competitive but yeah there's so much more to it as well definitely and especially like I see, like, I see, see one more person whenever they say oh what, what cosmic flames doing I'm like truly just like oh rah 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 and yeah. I'm like yeah that's when they get the death stare and you're like all right no hot chocolate for you <laughs> yes exactly do you know i'm gonna have a hot chocolate shop but you're not gonna be allowed in <laughs> <laughs> right so we've mentioned it a few times now you've got to tell us how you make your hot chocolate oh <laughs> i didn't you know that's what i was saying like michael from a uh, cheers uh, oh, that's oh, terrible oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. I was just going to say the wrong team. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Um, he mess- obviously messaged me earlier, like, when you go on tonight, you have to tell everyone your hot chocolate recipe. And I was like, I don't even do anything that different. I just, 
So all, all I do is I put the, my, like the powder in and then I make a paste with milk and then hot water. Okay. Or if, if it's like a flavoured one, like a tw twirl, you'll probably see on my TikTok when I try to be TikTok famous. Um, like I just melt the chocolate That's, uh, in with, with Pammy the Davis on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Get my views over, guys. <laughs> It's like Mate, I can't even you're beating work me at the minute. You're beating me at the minute. You got 61 followers. I is, <laughs> yeah. Like, have you? So what? Right, we're we're digressing. Sorry. Oh, um, I know. <laughs> That's me. I actually lead everybody astray. I'm like, let's go. Like, like anything bad or not, not what we're supposed to be doing. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like even that. Have you seen that meme or meme? However you say it, and it's like it's the sign on someone's back that says, "Don't talk to me. I've got loads to do." Yeah, yeah. And also always say to me, we're going to get one of them for you in the gym because I'm yeah, but always it talking just makes, to mums. Yeah, it makes you like want to talk even more. Uh -huh. like, I'm like that. You say no, <laughs> I, I want to do it even more. Yeah. Like, oh, come on. But yeah, so, um, with the, like with cheerleading, uh -huh. we were saying like, obviously it's taking you to Barcelona. Like yeah. do you go all over the UK as well? Like, yes. Because obviously I've we seen you in Scotland. Yeah. We, but, we do like, we try and do two a week. Two, two away so it's usually like we used to go to Sheffield that was usually our first one every year and um, that was before we was taken back to Scotland and then we do like a few different ones we, we try and change it every year but if we if we go down and we find one that we really love we'll go again the next season and um, we had I think two or three on last season's schedule but that never worked out so it's like we like to give them like, at least two away um, so that they are going down there they are going against so it's like a kind of standing thing like up here is good very good for dance in England like because obviously up here we've got so many amazing palm teams and stuff and England has like so I'm not saying up in Scotland doesn't have amazing cheer teams I'm not meaning that but we like to go down and give them so many different opportunities to compete against so many different other teams so that they know what else is out there like they know how hard they need to work when they come back to the gym so we do try and travel at least two times hmm. um, and then three homes so and then I travel as well because I judge so I travel so, um, like with the judging then how far has that taken you? Have you like do you just literally go is there like a certain yeah. few you judge for or um well I've got four kind of main EPs um that I judge for and so Scotland and a few down in England like London Newcastle that was kind of last year and then I, I was booked for Ireland, but COVID uh, ended that one. Um, so that was like a new one for me, a new EP. I'd never judged for them before and I was so excited. So it's kind of really that. And then a staff as well. So um, I just kind of like to just get out there and see as much as I can. And I'm quite a people person. So I like to kind of meet a lot of people. And Is it nice? <laughs> like, obviously going from like program owner to like being staff members or being the judge yeah yeah uh-huh right. yeah I love like judging at first I was very like quite hard on myself because I was like you I, I kind of done like a course years ago but then I got invited to do it and I was like oh, why am I getting asked to do this like and I was like well they must think that you that you that you can and I'm like oh I got uh-huh yeah and then the EP invited me back again and then again and then again and then again and now I'm like I'm a regular on their panel every single time they have a competition so it's like at first though I was very much like oh, oh no that's too big to come for me I think I'm going to say no and and then it was like oh am I neglecting Cosmic like I just was a bit overwhelmed at first with judging but now I'm like I love it because I'm like but then I get lonely I miss them when I'm away because I'm like they're not there's not 400 of them cartwheeling down the corridor in a hotel yeah. it's someone <laughs> else's team doing that it's not mine that are bad behaving <laughs> so it's like <laughs> And I see things like that and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go home and see them. And yeah. then it's like, so, but it's good to kind of take a step back and see it from a whole different, a different way. Yeah, it's like a different perspective, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. Like, I bet it, I bet it's so weird though, isn't it? Do it like looking at it in two uh -huh. different ways. Because yeah. like you said, you've got, like you'll go away for a weekend judging uh -huh. and it's just you. You've got you've got to focus yeah. on the job in hand. You, uh -huh. You've got to go there and smash out your judging. But then, yeah. then you've got the flip side where you go away for a weekend and you've got 400 kids to, like, chase after. And uh -huh. 
You're like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's like away comps are mental, crazy. Like honestly, the mums love it. They're on the bus with a bottle of wine, ready to go five o'clock in the morning. But well, we used to travel early in the morning at that time, but now we've started going the night before mm. and staying over so that the kids are all fresh in the morning. And that just means that they're there for an extra night down in the bus. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. They're like, can we leave at one o'clock in the afternoon? And I'm like, oh, what about school? Oh no, we can write a letter because it's a sport. And I'm like, oh, right, okay. Yeah. So they're down there for like four o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon, loving life. <laughs> And then they're at the competition all weekend. And, but they do, like, the mums love it just as much. Like, the mums said to me, we'll never complain about a cheer hangover again. And I don't think I'll ever complain about a cheer hangover. Because no. so you know yourself, it's a real thing. Like, you're, I'm ill. Yeah. And then I'm like, I don't think I'll ever, ever complain about that feeling again. I, yeah, we, um, yeah, it's going to be crazy when we go away again. Yeah. Like, and because, like, what's your thoughts on... The first comp back or the first comp you either go to as a judge or as cosmic like what is the atmosphere going to be like i just think it's going to be unreal like i don't think as someone else nobody's going to nobody's going to come at this time everybody's going to be there for doors opening they're going to need to i don't know what they're going to do like everybody's going to be like no i'm having this whole day and it's we usually have to say oh come you have to come support the younger teams like don't just come for your own team and there like, won't be any saying that will there no We'll and, not need to say. Like, and because of because of um everything that has happened over the yeah. year, like I was slating it earlier for the social influence, but uh-huh. the one good thing for social media is the bonds and like friendships that have been built from yeah uh, well stayed. like across teams because oh, they, yeah. Yeah. because they've been jumping onto classes with other teams uh-huh. or, and yeah. all that and like when they actually get to comp and they're going to be oh my god oh and, yeah you're from whatever I spoke to you in Zoom or I was on yeah. your class uh-huh. or your coach taught me your coach coached Anna I guess because I, I I've done a few guest coaching mm. as well and we 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 didn't do guest coaches at first because we have so many of them we thought we'll just like I was I do one Zoom a week and I'm like what <laughs> like <laughs> What am I even doing? I just had them there before you. <laughs> that's like the tinies. They're so funny. And um, like you feel like, oh, that's all I'm doing. Like, am I, am I doing enough? But when you, so we had two guest coaches just there just for like a wee treat for them. And it's like, they're going to remember that. They're going to see that person at comp and be like, hi. Yeah. Like and that person probably does 400 guest coaching. and be like. <laughs> yeah. All it's, right. Like, it's amazing. And like I've said as well to, I, said, I think I said it to yourself and a couple of other people like it's amazing that we have been able to do this because yeah. when I go when we go back to competition obviously I'm normally sat behind a desk yeah sorting all like the photos out managing like the media side of things uh-huh. whereas now because I've connected with people and I've just spoken saying hi I'm I'm Charlie yeah like, here's like we're from JPAD, like let's get yeah. to know each other kind of thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Not... Well, that news cost you I won fifty pounds. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> Everyone oh is my like, god, she... I remember you now, like coming running up to the desk. <laughs> yeah, because they were like, What I, I just said that as if no, I don't I don't know you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they were I remember like, you coming again. Yeah. I won fifty quid. Yeah, I remember. I was that. like, I went, I was like, because I had said it was being during music, and I they were like, do this and do this, you can enter for it. And I was like, all right, okay. But you know that your team's coming on, or or whatever team's on next, and you're like, and it's like, and it sounds silly, but see, knowing that you've got to play like that music, and if it's the wrong music or whatever, and I get the fear in case I've done the wrong music on the wrong bit, and I'm like, so I always stand there to make sure if there's any problems, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and it, the, guy, the guy's like, yeah, just if you do this, this. I'm like, okay, I'll do it right now, right? Okay, thanks, bye. And then I, I, I don't know, I think I forgot about it. And then they were like, probably they're shouting on you on the stage. And I was like, oh, no, what have oh, they done? Yeah, <laughs> no, I thought I something, one of the kids had done something. I was like, oh, no. And then I was like, well, why is he announcing me in front of everybody? And they were like, oh, you've won something. And I was like, oh, my God, the 50 pound. <laughs> 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 That's all with life. <laughs> Oh, it is good fun. But it is like it's gonna be great because like yeah. when we do go back and we have met all these people, it's Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, I like the people that I have like had on tune in and all that, I've yeah. created great relationships with them. Uh-huh. Like where it's just messaging them like on Instagram, like Ross from Rain, he's gonna oh. hate me because like just 
my Ross. We're, we're messaging each other all the time and I'm just yeah. asking him like stupid questions and that and he's coming back with voice notes and like, oh, his voice notes it. are brilliant I have it to just say. cracks me up it facetimes me all like it'll just facetime me and then if I don't answer like if I'm on a zoom or something it'll be like answer me and then I'm like, <laughs> I'm like okay and then when, when I do answer I'm on for like an hour and I'm like <laughs> he's just crack he's a crack guy they use our gym quite a lot they come through mm. and hire us on like a Sunday when our gym's not open and all these parents are lovely and they all like add me to Facebook and all that and I'm like oh my god and then I'm like Ross is okay because <laughs> like, they are quite well they're about an hour away but it's like but it is like so that funny. as well like I've, yeah. obviously we've we photographed like your, your teams and all that yeah. competition but it's we only get like a I think the most interaction is either the person on our on our desk or uh-huh. Our studio photographer. Yeah, the group photo. That's yeah, always a joy. I even, mean, no <laughs> <laughs> even then, though, it's like literally, it's not very long. So it yeah. has, like, and Ross, for example, they've always, he's always been absolutely crazy. And yeah, he's so like, funny. Yeah, with our photographer, and they, he always like picks them out and that. But now I'll go to a comp and you can have fun with them and like, we'll, yeah. we'll be jumping on the studio with you kind of thing. Just, uh huh. Like, Oh, but my kids will be like, yeah, come on. <laughs> like, honestly, they're so funny. I remember my girls went in. I'll say my girl, but you know what I mean? One of the teams went in. I think one of the, co- the co- their coach was a coach of the team that was on. Like, for some reason, the coach wasn't with them, but they were told to stand at warm-up. Mm. And the man on the desk at warm-up, I think this is what, down in Sheffield, and he had, like, a sleeve tattoo, but there was highlighters sitting, and they coloured them in. And when I walked up, he was like standing there. I think I just think he just didn't have the heart to say no. <laughs> and then, like I'm actually quite good pals with him now because obviously I staff at that, that event. And I was like, I was like, oh my god! And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, what did you do that for? These are youths. You're not even tiny. These are youths. And they were all like, <laughs> and he was like, and it's like they just asked, and I says, I okay. And I was like, you. <laughs> I was like, when I just walked around, he was like head to toe highlighter. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and it's like that thing, like because they are like they are wee live wires somewhere a lot, and I'm like, oh, what have they done? <laughs> but no, they're fun, and, and it's funny because they are like a bundle of fun. Mm. And so that's great. It is great to see. Like it is like we have. I know, like my guys, they all have great fun on the studio. Yeah, yeah. And, like it's like I'm trying to. I am going to try and step back and put someone in my role yeah. so I can be about out and about more and having more of the fun. Yeah. Like, let see more let, of the, let those guys deal with it. No, but yeah. it's, no, but it is like interacting with the crowd and getting, uh-huh. getting, yeah, getting to know everyone. And yeah. Not yeah. just because it has been a massive blow and I didn't think it like, we've only been photographing now for three seasons. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it three? This would have been our fourth, yeah. So it was... Um, so we are still new. Yeah. yeah. And it is... Like, I didn't realise how much I'd miss it. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's crazy. Like, it is... I, I miss it so much. Yeah. Like, I did a video... The last time we were in Scotland, I did a video just before doors opened. Uh-huh. And you know, like, The Walking Dead? Uh-huh. Yeah. When like you see like a horde of zombies walking yeah. they, they didn't look like zombies I'm, let me clear that up but it was I did a like a selfie video uh-huh. of the um like glass doors behind me and literally all the glass was just filled with like faces, faces. just up against it like let me let in, in. <laughs> yeah showing their bands yeah and like it was just great for I want to do a lot more of that when we yeah. go back and, uh-huh there's, was, there is so much to it like people just think oh competition but there is so much yeah to a competition day that you don't like you don't realize I think that is why you get your chair hang because you are there is so much goes on well yeah like Scotland for us it's two days <laughs> it's I'm two really... days well it's uh-huh. two days for you guys it's yeah. what is it for us two five days for us oh really because it's about yeah. massive venue yeah well no because we have to travel Oh yeah, yeah. We yeah we travel up on the Thursday, uh-huh. and then it takes us all day to travel. Yeah, and then the Friday we're setting up everything. Yeah, and then yeah, so it's crazy, isn't it? Like you, how long it takes to set up, but how quick it takes to pack down. 
Oh yeah. Like oh. it is crazy because that like I think the SEC is the only venue that there's a time limit. Well, the, well there's oh. time limit time limits everywhere else, but you've got the security yeah. guards hanging over you like, come on. Oh, I, and I think I <laughs> yeah, the last time well, it would have been last year, wouldn't it? We um was it Storm David? Oh yeah. Yeah, because yeah, one of my moms, I remember, you know, Sylvie that does the desk. Yeah. <laughs> I'd actually sent her an email saying, what do you do when your mum gives her tickets to the storm? Because <laughs> she opened her envelope out in the car park and everything it just went everywhere. And she wrote back saying, I am never sick of these questions from you. <laughs> I was like, it can't just be me. It can't just be me. Yeah, it was so windy. And everybody was standing outside for ages. And everybody, because they only opened two doors, the security guys, and everybody was going mental at them because... There was another door around the side, and they're like, "Why not? They're all we need our seats." <laughs> they really realised then it's like crazy cheer mums. <laughs> well, no, it was really bad. Like I felt awful because I was out outside, and just before everyone was coming in, uh -huh. and one of the athletes got out of a car, and she was only she was only like a tiny, uh -huh. and Storm David was that bad. She went flying, oh. and I was like. Ah. Uh, like she was laughing her head off uh -huh, yeah. like, but she literally like she was walking towards the door and then she's all like she's pretty much on the um you know the walkover <laughs> <laughs> she's pretty much over there she's laughing her head off and then her mum's trying to go and get her and oh, but she's, she's going laughing. the other way like from the storm but it was no. just it was crazy I remember it being so freezing waiting in the queue but like we <laughs> back to what I was saying about it we obviously had this rush time to get everything out but oh. everyone that was there like you had us power nation isle of cheer yeah lee all the vendors that were there we parked our vans right outside the door uh -huh. and there was probably what 20 of us out there and people were running everywhere to stop flight cases from going and <laughs> We were like, oh my god, it was crazy. We like were packing it... and Storm David was unpacking, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But it was <laughs> like we didn't know whose gear was ending up in which van and all that. Because I was like, oh, I, I, I think I've got a, uh, a sports top here. No, that's not mine. Perination <laughs> setup. Like... Yeah, it's like, oh no, I, I didn't order that. But <laughs> them up. do you want your shop back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, it was crazy. But like, what coming out of all this mess? Uh -huh. Like, what's the plans for the future for you guys? I think we just want to get them back. Because we've been closed for, we, I think we've only had maybe 12 weeks out a year. Because oh, we're, we're in that area of Scotland that's always on the red bad, <laughs> with the bad ones. And um, so we were doing outside and then we were allowed inside. And then they were like, oh, we're going to, we're going to have a look. We need to shut down for a couple of weeks because to kind of curb it and that was in December we're still shut mm. so I think we are allowed to open on the 26th um, they were on today so they've lifted the travel restrictions today so everything's looking good um, she's done that er yeah, a lot you're allowed to meet with six now aren't you six yeah she's done that today as well so it's like she's um, she's lifting things so but in my head I'm still not getting excited for the because I have got excited for reopening so many times and it's been taken away from us so we're just, I think, working to get them. And we're doing like pre-season training for two months and then we're going to do tryouts and then start the season maybe a bit earlier. But I think we're just wanting to get them back into being with their friends and back to training in the gym and get their fitness levels back up because some of them haven't been on Zoom, some of them don't like Zooms. It's like Zooms, not, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're all Zoomed out. They all can't be bothered anymore with Zoom. They're like whatever I think, yeah it's the one thing it's zoom fatigue whoever uh -huh. thought that would have yeah. been a thing hey uh-huh they're like my camera's not working and you're like yes it is get on yeah and it's like do you know and they're like oh she, she couldn't come on today because she just doesn't want to do it on zoom and you're like right well not be honest do you know but so they're going to come back to the gym so we kind of want to just get them back to a routine back to normal back to training and then We'll see, like, kind of what the next kind of stage is for comps. Yeah. We don't, we're not even wanting to think about that yet until we're back in and back training. I think so, like that's a lot of people are doing that, and yeah, those that are going back to comp, it is they're not looking at it as like let's go and win awards. Yeah, like, it's well, like just go. For no, the I'm not series. speaking for everyone. Like they might <laughs> be thinking that, but yeah, but it's more about like getting back into it and uh -huh. let's just go have fun. Yeah, let's just go back to training, back to being with each other, back to 
like the, just the whole thing yeah. the gym, really uh-huh yeah. and then then we'll see what happens after we're all kind of settled down because yeah. i think it seems to be we've planned so many things so many times over the last year hmm. and it's it's been taken away and then we reopened planned another season and then that gets taken away again so we're just like just do it bit a bit <laughs> like, yeah. we'll see what happens we'll just do it a wee tiny bit at a time and then yeah. we'll see it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yes. Uh-huh. That kind of uh-huh. looking we'll get right there. We'll get there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, year, we sure will. I mean, like, look how far. We'll like, oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll be like, do you remember? And we're like, no, I do uh-huh. not want to remember that time. But, yeah. Never. <laughs> no. Do you remember when you were a cocktail? Uh, or did, did you make the cocktails every day? <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, it's yeah. like that is the first lockdown. That's it. I'm like, I'm going to learn to make all these cocktails and all that. And then I was like, I'm on fit. I was like, I'm bored. <laughs> I was like, like, what did I do now? Like, <laughs> and then it's even like back now. I've, like, I've been off like nearly a year because obviously, like, mm. everything's closed in Scotland. Like, even Scotland, we were like out allowed out for like two months really I think or mm. three months and then that was that we we're like big straight back in and I was like for goodness sake <laughs> like yeah. what do I do what do I do now <laughs> there's only so much Netflix you can watch <laughs> yeah so many hot chocolates you can make and yes well that's why I think that's where I got the idea from I was like I'm going to try and be, make all these different hot chocolates and then <laughs> when I got like four views and I was like right, that's rubbish I'll try another, <laughs> I'll try another trick <laughs> cocktails oh yeah <laughs> love it love it but like if said the question that I've asked everyone yeah if it doesn't have to be one thing but if you could say something Uh to an athlete or anybody that listens to this that's feeling a bit down from everything that has happened to pick them up and boost their spirits like what would you say just really we're nearly there like we'll be back before you know it we'll be back in the gym we'll be back together like it's not going to last forever and I know it's crap just now and I know we all hate zoom and whatever but just hang in there because we're going to get there we will we'll be back before you know it and then we'll all be laughing a bit oh remember when we were in, in, in lockdown <laughs> and then we'll be like that oh I wish I had another lockdown <laughs> <laughs> but no just hang in there because we will get there we're going we've done a year now we'll a few more weeks and we can I'm sure we can do it <laughs> yeah and if uh yeah if they ever needed to they can just ask like find you on tiktok and get you to make them a hot chocolate yes i can tell my recipes and then they can practice that and then it'll make them happy yeah <laughs> my hot chocolates <laughs> this is all michael's fault <laughs> <laughs> but like um obviously because you're a ray of sunshine and <laughs> very bubbly <laughs> if anybody oh, like you. wanted to like get in touch with you and have a chat about cosmic how would they get in touch with you and how would they um, just it? instagram's probably well i i'm not really the best at instagram i'm not lie but the girls are so on the ball don't with lie, your selfies you just... <laughs> <laughs> wow i know i always say the girls is that all right and they're like that get that off because <laughs> like, i always say i'm insta stupid <laughs> I'm it. like, see, because I'm insta stupid, can you do a post for me? So it's just like at Cosmic Flames, and that's like the best, probably the best way. That Instagram, they're really active on that, and they post an awful lot, not just of like, like looking for new members or whatever. It's they post a lot of what we're up to, what the girls are doing, and funny things like one of the kids brought their ducks on a Zoom the other day because the ducks had just hatched, and they brought the whole thing on yeah. just to see. So we had that on Instagram for everybody to get a laugh. So. It's, that's probably the best place to get because we'll get a message and then one of the girls will be like, go and answer that. <laughs> <laughs> the notifications drive me wild. <laughs> they're so OCD with it. Like, they're like, answer that mail. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we got around earlier for not answering the mails. Lucy, again, like, Lucy, she, uh, one of the coaches, Lucy, she's very like, she likes mails to be answered. She likes it so that it says, um, it says something like fast responder or something on the Facebook. Yeah, yeah. And she likes that. And so we need to like see we don't. She's like, "Have a meal for you." <laughs> I'm like, "Okay." <laughs>